Hello and welcome back to the Fed Talks. Uh, I'm Nathan Hall and we're back again with another episode. Feels like a lifetime since I've done one of these, but we're talking all things nicotine pouches today. We've got Paul Shakespeare on from GTI and we're talking about their brand Nordic Spirit. Nicotine pouches, it's really new in the UK. It only came over 2019, I think, or whatnot. But it's really excellent, it's growing really quickly. Um, the market's over 20 million quid now, and GTI, their brand, holds over nearly three quarters of that. So, so it's a really neat product. We're talking all things about it and how convenience retailers can really capitalize on it. So let's jump onto the call now with him and talk about it. So Paul, welcome to the Fed Talks. I believe it's a debut for yourself. So before we talk all things Nordic Spirit, could you give us a little introduction to yourself and you know, who you are and your role at GTI? Yeah, sure. No problem. Uh, thanks for having me. So my name's Paul Shakespeare. Uh, I'm the conventional tobacco products portfolio lead manager within JTI. So um, that looks after obviously our tobacco side of things, but also our nicotine pouches in Nordic Spirit as well. Right. Perfect. So let's talk Nordic Spirit. It's very new to a lot of people. It's been around 2019, I think, isn't it, Paul? That's let's, right. Let's do an introduction for the people that don't know about it. Tell us about it. Yep. Yeah, so um, exactly as you say, it originated um, in the UK market in 2019. So um, Nordic Spirit itself is a 100% tobacco free nicotine pouch. And when we say nicotine pouch, we mean literally it's a small white pouch um, that you place under your gum, either at the top or the bottom of your lip. Um, like I say, it doesn't contain any tobacco. It's a mixture of uh, nicotine extract some fillers and plant fibers that means it sits quite comfortably up there and releases its nicotine through the gums perfect paul and i have seen i've seen it kicking about a little bit with my family my parents for example use them and um, tell us about where it originated though before it came to the uk am i right in thinking it was scandinavia is that right yeah that's right yeah so um for those that may or may not know um snus is obviously the let's say the base origin product from which uh, this has now been derived so that's been around in Sweden since, gosh, like the eight, late 18th century, something like that. And obviously at the time, Snus contained tobacco and, and still does over there. So as technology and advancements in consumer wants and needs progress, then back in early 2000s, um, they started extracting tobacco, uh, nicotine from the tobacco and then putting it into the pouches themselves. And therefore, you've then got a whole new category of a to completely tobacco free pouch but still used in the same way for people in Scandinavia so they're very much used to putting pouches up in their lip and you know using nicotine products in that way got you and since then early 2000s moved to the UK since 2019 how was it performing in the UK ah, it's been great so I mean for us as a move into a new category you know there was a lot of risk there um snus isn't a product that's available in the UK it's actually illegal so that usage of a pouch in the mouth scenario, we were very much, uh, you know, of a feel of, OK, we've got some consumer research that says this could work. But until we put it out there, we didn't really know. So like you say, uh, late 2019, we launched and then through 2020 until current day, we've really been building our distribution uh, and making sure that as a, an alternative smoking uh, option for situations where, you know, you can't smoke, you can't vape then this product offers consumers um, of nicotine products something else. So if you think about it as well, considering what we've had to deal with in the last couple of years with coronavirus, lockdowns, I mean, truly this product is designed to be used anywhere, anytime. So, you know, in the car, on the train, for your journey to work, perhaps in an office meeting, going on a plane, on holiday, et cetera. As I say, all those um, usage occasions where smoking and vaping doesn't work, yeah. So considering that, the growth that it's had um, is absolutely phenomenal, given it's not in the ideal conditions for it. Yeah, it's a, um, it's a neat little factor, the fact that it's got no smoke, so you can do it anywhere. It's, uh, it's very nice. And then what our retailers want to hear, what they want to talk about was how do they sell it? How do they sell more of it? So have you got any advice for retailers at GTI doing anything to support them? Yeah, so um, from our perspective, obviously, we've managed to build Nordic Spirit as the number one uh, nicotine pouch in the UK. And coming to that point of about what retailers should do. So then first and foremost, awareness of the product category is, is obviously huge, as it is with any MPD, really, um, particularly in this category. So positioning the product on the till or as close to the till point of purchase as you can with some very clear point of sale material uh, and like a countertop unit. So, again, from our perspective, um, we provide equipment where needed. Uh, we have our uh, trade portal, jtiadvance.co.uk, 
yeah. which has a lot of information there around what's available. And obviously our JTI sales representatives can help in that regard. Um, moving to kind of what else they should do. Obviously the education about this is absolutely key. You know, not a lot of retailers are going to be aware of it, how it's used, what the consumer is going to ask of them. So the couple of key things to remember are firstly, like we've said, it's 100% tobacco free. So therefore it can be used anywhere, anytime. When somebody's looking to enter the category, they really need a basic understanding of how to use it. Like I say, take it out of the can, put it up into your lip, await that sort of tingling sensation that comes and then use it for up to an hour with Nordic Spirit. And then secondly, around um, the strength and the flavor options as well. So from our perspective, we have uh, mint as the most dominant flavor in the whole category. And then we have three strengths as well. So we have a, a regular, a strong and an extra strong, which we just launched at the back end of 2020. So again, if it's somebody that's not used the product before, they're an existing adult smoker um, and vapor, then we'd say, look, start with the regular, start with the mint, see how it goes. And then obviously from a retailer's perspective, provide a larger range as consumer base and uh, repurchase increases. So you can move into the elderflower flavor, the uh, bergamot and wildberry flavor. And then again, with the strengths, build up that strength opportunity. Um, obviously everything won't necessarily fit on the countertop. So obviously if you get to a point where rate of sale is picking up, then we'd recommend placing on your gantry or your back wall solution alongside the other um, vape alternatives that are out there. Yeah. And then the big one then is just around the availability. Like anything, you know, you have a consumer comes in and tries it, that starts to build up a, a consumer base. All of a sudden you can see your stock selling through quite quickly. So that replenishment repurchase from wholesale or, or your distributive wholesaler, wherever they uh, receive their stock from is key to make sure that you retain that consumer when they then come in as a new or, or an existing to, to repurchase again. Fantastic, Paul. It is, really is a neat little proposition for independent retailers. Our members should be stocking it. It's fantastic. Thanks again for, for coming on here, sharing this, uh, sharing this information and insight into the brand, Cheers, Paul. Paul. Cheers. Well, what a neat little proposition that was. Thanks so much, Paul, for coming on and sharing all of that knowledge and data with our membership. We really appreciate it. Now, the recommended retail price of these pouches are £6.50. For in, in there, you get 20 little of the pouches. Um, so again, fantastic value for money. Really, really good product. Um, if you're not stocking, have a think about it. Have a look into it. It's brilliant. Um, and thanks for watching. Again, we've got some more exciting episodes coming uh, in, in the next few weeks and months. So keep your eyes peeled for them. But until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.